Another use of middleware in uh, backend frameworks is to share a little bit of data between our different route handlers. Uh, for example, what if we have some kind of config file that we want everything to have access to? Uh, that could be really helpful in, in sharing the data back and forth. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and set up a new route and uh, it won't be a mirror, but it will basically um, maybe just display what we have um, in, in this route. Let's, uh, let's set up our Thunder client route first. So we're gonna do a get request to HTTP localhost port 3000. Let's go to like um, middleware message. And of course, 404 knock on. Not, not surprising, we haven't written the route yet, but I just wanted to uh, sort of like almost test driven development for this. Let's head back into routes and create this for us. So we're gonna call this middleware message .rs, come back to mod and mod this. All right, we're gonna have a pub uh, async function middleware message and use that in the route here. Uh, we're gonna make sure to do this below, like above the layer for cores. So route, uh, gonna go to middleware message with a slash. Uh, for the service, we're gonna do a get middleware message. Um, if we do accidentally bring in the route handler with parentheses like this, we just need to remember to remove them. Otherwise things will break in kind of weird ways. All right, so we save that. If we come back to our test, uh, at least we're getting a 200 okay, but no message in here. So let's, let's fix that. Let's head back to mod because this is where we're going to set something that the route can then, well, have access to. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna create a struct that we're gonna pass in as a layer. So uh, we'll do a pub struct. Um, let's do a shared, uh, shared data. Uh, we'll have a pub message and that will be a string. Let's create an instance of shared data here. Let shared data equals shared data. Message will be hello from shared data. And we'll to own that. Okay, now adding it in uh, is the same thing. We're gonna use a layer again, but instead of just dropping in the struct, uh, we have to wrap that in something called an extension. So basically we can't just throw whatever we want inside of a layer. It has to be something that the layer, well, specifically takes and understands what it is. So we'll do a layer. Um, and so this is an extension, which comes from Axum extension. Now the extension is a tuple type, so we can now add in the data uh, to the tuple struct of extension. So in this case, shared data. Now it's yelling at us because we haven't implemented clone on shared data. Okay, that's great. Let's implement clone here. So we'll derive clone and now it's happy. So this does let us know because we have to implement clone for this to work that is cloning the shared data to hand it to each of the handlers. So if you have if you have actually like mutating data or you want to like mutate it, there's gonna there has to be there's a better way to to do it. Um, let's not worry about that right now. Let's now head into our middleware message and uh, now retrieve this shared data. So it's gonna work exactly like an extractor. We're gonna put this into the function signature here and extract out the shared data, except it's not really extract, is it? It's the extension. So we follow the exact same pattern. We use extension 
and we'll put in shared data. And the type here is gonna be an extension with that shared data uh, data type. And at this point, we have complete access to the shared data. Let's go ahead and return a string. And we're gonna return the shared data dot uh, message. Now that clone is the reason why we don't run into any ownership problems here, because we're taking ownership of the message from shared data to send out as a string, but it doesn't care because it cloned shared data for us. Back to our request, if I now hit send again, now we have this hello from shared data. Now, as I mentioned in the cores middleware, the positioning of this layer is really important. If we want everything above this to have access to shared data, we need this to be below it, for example. So in this case, here is fine, but here is not. And if we try to run this again, we end up getting a 500 internal server error because it can't actually find the shared data. It's, it's just not available to it. So if you do run into problems, check the positioning of your layers to make sure it's, it's where you expect them to be. So in this case, I'm gonna put it right below where we want to go. And, uh, and that's how we uh, share data between layers. Um, we'll show in a future video how to maybe set up your own custom middleware and add in some shared data inside of that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope that was this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.